Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at noon. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. I'm Alexandra Carter. A four-year-old girl is in the hospital after being shot by a juvenile family member. According to the Nielsville Police Department, it happened Wednesday morning in the 500 block of West 7th Street. They say the child's injuries are not life-threatening and a handgun was involved. The case is still under investigation. If you have any information, contact investigator Hunter M at the number you see there at the bottom of your screen. Well, I'll tell you what, Alexander, man, we had that fog again. You saw it, and we're going to probably see it again tomorrow. So folks that are heading on out and using uh, the commuter lanes uh, tomorrow, well, you're going to be in that fog. There it is right there. It continues on, and then it kind of evaporates, or well, let's call it lifts and gets out of the way. We have a beautiful sky out there right now. We're warm today, but we'll be warmer tomorrow where temperatures bump up a degree or two. And then as that plays out, well, we're also going to see less rainfall in the forecast coming into uh, the remainder of the week. So that's good news for folks that are heading out for Oktoberfest. Right now, the radar is quiet out there, as you can see. You can see also uh, not much in the way of cloud cover. It's all out away from us. And you can see, uh, again, as we dive right back down, that area of low pressure coming in with that, uh, that weak low that's holding on by itself right now, a cutoff low. We carry all the way down into areas by the Gulf, and you're looking at some humidity popping up there. And that is uh, Hurricane Helene that's going to make landfall sometime this evening to at least overnight tonight. When I come back, I'll have a better overview of how this all plays out for you when I return. All right, Art, we'll see you then. Thank you. Oktoberfest grounds were filled with Durndal and Lederhosen this morning as the long-awaited annual tradition is officially back. It's now underway. For well over 30 years, the Senior Breakfast has kicked off the Oktoberfest festivities. The event offers eggs, pancakes, sausage, and refreshments, all for free. And as the organizer explains, the Oktoberfest spirit is already in the air. There's people dancing this morning, and uh, there was a line and uh, I saw a lady doing a little of this, you know, and how awesome is that? And they are ready. More than 300 seniors attended the meal, which of course featured appearances from Oktoberfest royalty and live music from Dr. Rock. And a new addition to the fest ground this year was unveiled this morning. A larger than life statue of King Gambrinus. There he is, a legendary European culture hero celebrated as an icon of beer and brewing. The statue was donated by the Cleary Cum Foundation. And if he looks familiar, that's because the city already has two representations of the king on display. One on 3rd Street outside of City Brewery and another near Riverside Park on the corner of State and Front Streets. Ahead of tonight's torchlight parade, some little ones got their time to shine at UWL this morning. The university's Child Center hosted its 39th annual Children's Oktoberfest Parade, where the children of students and staff marched from the Child Center down to the Union Lawn. The fun size showcase featured visits from members of the Oktoberfest royal family and a performance from UWL's Screaming Eagles Marching Band. And happening now from one Oktoberfest royalty to another, the special fester carnival is in full swing right now at Copeland Park. Until 2 p.m., families can enjoy carnival rides and festive treats all in honor of this year's special fester, 12-year-old Quincy Sykes. Oktoberfest officials say Quincy represents the festival's bright, inclusive future. There's no Oktoberfest wristband required for the event either. Still to come, a flat tire can ruin anyone's day, but it's what you don't know about spare tires that could leave you stranded. Hear from one driver who learned the hard way in Consumer Reports. The world's largest festival returns the last full weekend in September. The Warren's Cranberry Festival continues to gather foodies and thrill seekers alike with a one-of-a-kind spectacle that can only be found in the last full weekend in September. Visit crampfest.com for more information. A suspected Venezuelan gang member who was arrested for domestic battery. Violently attacked a woman physically and sexually. The border crisis is real here in Wisconsin. Criminal gangs harming our community. We're stretched thin. Open borders and weak politicians are crushing us. Rebecca Cook is one of them. She doesn't back law enforcement. She'll never secure the border. She doesn't even want to. That's why we stand with Derek Van Orden. He has our back. And I've got yours. I'm Derek Van Orden, and I approve this message. When I walked into these old buildings 35 years ago, I never imagined it would look like this. I never imagined we'd serve 12,000 homeowners. I never imagined I'd celebrate my 80th birthday here 
and I never imagined that my then 10-year-old daughter would become the new general manager. But here we are, solid as a rock, carrying on a tradition of exceptional quality and service. Celebrate our 35 years with your savings on new windows and doors, bathroom or kitchen, siding, sunroom or deck. I've achieved some amazing things with this body right here, from Russian records to championship dance moves. But with joint pain, there's no rushing, no dancing, no working, no playing for any of us, and that's not good. The medical professionals at QC Kinetics help pain caused by arthritis and past injuries using natural solutions, advanced biologic therapies, no surgery or harmful medications. Who knows what you can do once relief kicks in? QC Kinetics, I still got it. There are over 21,000 Wisconsin veterans struggling to pay for rent and utilities. Thank you for your service. Many are also facing issues with their mental health. Thank you for your service. We must do more to help these heroes who have already sacrificed so much. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Words simply aren't enough. I'm sorry. Make a difference by donating to this critical Wisconsin survival safety net today. It can be backbreaking work all day, every day, pretty much on your feet. So it burns me up when Eric Hubby says people in Wisconsin don't work hard. The guy is a multimillionaire California banker. He has absolutely no idea what we're going through. He's living the high life out there in a big fancy house. He even brags about being in the 1%. Listen, don't come here and tell us we're not working hard when we are just getting by. Eric Hubby doesn't respect us at all. The guy's a straight up jerk. DSCC is responsible for the content of this ad. The world's largest festival returns the last full weekend in September. The Warren's Cranberry Festival continues to gather foodies and thrill seekers alike with a one of a kind spectacle that can only be found in the last full weekend in September. Visit cramfest.com for more information. Welcome back. A flat tire is always a bummer, but having a spare tire can help get you back on the road quickly if you have a spare tire that is. And if you do have one, it could be you might not be ready or safe to be used when it's needed. Consumer Reports reveals what you need to know before a tire emergency strikes. Driving to a spa appointment, Luz Placencia felt that familiar thud. Sure enough, I had a flat tire. Consumer Reports says safety first. In the event that you do get a flat tire, um, you should pull off the road uh, as far as you can in a safe area. Next, you'll want one of these, a space saver tire, lovingly called the donut. Not long ago, it replaced the full-size spare in most passenger cars. With any luck, you might go years without needing to use one, but it should not be forgotten. Spare tire expires just like your other four tires. You heard right, spare tires expire. The last two digits on the DOT number on the side wall of the donut tire indicate the year the tire was manufactured. If it's older than 10 years, replace it. And of course, a spare tire only works if it's properly inflated. Check your spare tire's pressure and condition anytime you check the pressure on your other tires and top it off as needed. Unfortunately, my car doesn't come with a spare tire. As many as 60% of new cars don't have a spare tire. In an effort from the manufacturers to lower um, production costs and reduce weight for fuel economy, um, they're just leaving the spare tire out. So don't ever assume you just have a spare tire. Instead, you'll likely get an air compressor or a can of tire sealant that is supposed to patch the damaged tire and get you to a shop where it can get repaired or replaced. Some cars, mostly luxury models, come with run-flat tires that allow you to continue driving for a set distance, usually 50 miles at modest speeds, enough to get you home or to the service center for a replacement. You shouldn't be driving around on these tires um, or a patch tire because that's not a permanent fix. Or have your car taken directly to a service center. This is Rachel Joyce. Another important tip from CR, no matter what flat tire solution your car has, learn how to use it before you need it because you may need to use it in the rain, in the dark, or in other challenging circumstances. That wraps up your afternoon consumer news. As we had to break, here's a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us, more news is next.
Ashley knows that some of our most important traditions and memories start around the dining table. From cozy breakfast nooks to formal dining areas, we have versatile options that fit any space. With styles ranging from mid-century modern to farmhouse or traditional, starting at just $499.99. Only at Ashley. Their Bidenomics led to the highest inflation in 40 years. Highest gas prices ever. Skyrocketing interest rates. Unaffordable housing. Incomes down. Unemployment rising. And a recession now headed our way. Yet Kamala Harris is clueless. We are very proud of Bidenomics. Bidenomics is working. <laughs> I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Everything is getting smarter. Good thing your Touchstone Energy Cooperative has the knowledge and expertise to help you make smarter work harder. Today, there are more ways than ever to make your world more energy efficient, and we can show you how. Take the next step to go electric and put the power of your co-op to work for you. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. As the mom of a daughter, I'm livid that boys are now being allowed to compete in girls' sports. It's just wrong, and I blame Tammy Baldwin. She voted to let biological men into women's sports. Worse, Baldwin co-sponsored legislation to force girls to share locker rooms with biological men. Tammy Baldwin is failing to keep our families safe. Tammy Baldwin's extreme values are wrong for Wisconsin. Fix Washington Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. Looking for a better night's sleep? Ashley Sleep offers mattresses for every level of comfort. From soft, cloud-like comfort to firm, next-level support. We have affordable mattress options for everybody. Find your perfect match today, only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. In your medical news today, research from the University of Copenhagen shows artificial intelligence is better at predicting breast cancer risk than current clinical benchmarks for risk assessment. The new technology was trained on breast tissue biopsies to look for so-called zombie cells, which are still metabolically active but have stopped dividing. Those are associated with cancer development. Researchers say use of the new AI in a clinical setting is still years away, though. And a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found more than 80% of pregnant women are iron deficient by their third trimester, despite having general good health in a high resource setting. Of the more than 600 Irish women who participated in, in the study, none were anemic in the first trimester of pregnancy. The study authors recommend doctors screen all pregnant women for iron deficiency. September is National Suicide Prevention Month. Data from the National Center for Health Statistics shows suicide was the 11th leading cause of death for all ages in 2022, which is the same it was the year before. Rates generally increased for females aged 25 and older from 2020 to 2022, and firearm use was the leading mean of suicide death for women and men in 2022. If you or someone you know is in crisis, call or text the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Those were some of the day's top health headlines. Taking a live look outside now from CityCam 8, Art is in next with a look at our forecast. Do you love crafts and country? Enjoy the fall colors with a visit to the Craft Barn of Galesville, the year-round indoor craft show. Open seven days a week, find fall decor and over 300 cookie cutters, plus hundreds of items under $20. For directions and hours, visit craftbarngalesville.com. Small businesses are the backbone of our community. These places employ us, sponsor the Little League team, and feed and clothe us. That's why I'm proud of the work I've done to support our business community. I know that the side of the aisle you're on matters less than being on the side of our main streets. No party has a monopoly on good ideas. I'm Steve Doyle, and I'm working for our businesses, working for our communities, and I'm working for you. Cooley Carpet has always been more than just carpet, and now the name will reflect that. Cooley Floors and Design. Along with the brand new name, there's a fresh new look to the showroom. Don't worry, Cooley Floors and Design still has the same great team at the same convenient location. Ready to elevate your space? The design consultants will take the time to discuss your dreams, needs, and your budget. Cooley Floors and Design will accompany you through every step from expert advice to professional installation. Visit Cooley Floors and Design on Mormon Cooley Road for a fresh new look. 
It seems like everyone in Washington is either too far left or too far right. I'm Rebecca Cook, and like most folks in Wisconsin, I'm somewhere in the middle. I'll stand up to Democrats to fight for a secure border and stop wasteful spending. I'll stand up to extremists like Derek Van Orden, who wants to ban all abortions with no exceptions. Like you, I'm fed up and ready for change. I approve this message because it's time that we sent one of us to Congress. Do you love crafts and country? Enjoy the fall colors with a visit to the Craft Barn of Galesville, the year-round indoor craft show. Open seven days a week, find fall decor and over 300 cookie cutters, plus hundreds of items under $20. For directions and hours, visit craftbarngalesville.com. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows, installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. All right, good afternoon to you again. We're holding on to a little bit of... Hang on. Yeah, we had some patchy fog earlier this morning, and now we're going to see more of that uh, later on tom tomorrow morning as well. Warmer conditions will ensue as we get into uh, this uh, summertime-like pattern here, even though it's fall right now. But uh, we'll see how that switches up soon. I'll give you a heads up on that in just a moment. First, current temperatures right now, widespread in the 70s for you. Very comfortable, very beautiful. A lot of people out there walking about, having a good old time. Dry conditions pretty much across much of the central portion and almost uh, three-quarters of the United States here. But you take a look here down into the Gulf of Mexico and there it is. That's Helene and she's making her move. Eventually it'll be moving right across uh, getting into the uh, big bend of Florida and then working its way on shore. That's either happened tonight or going into the overnight and uh, the early morning hours. That being said, look at the dry air that's still here. This is the area of the cutoff low right about there that's on its own and continuing to just turn uh, a lot of that moisture up uh, into the Midwest, but not so much here because high pressure is coming in and blocking a lot of that moisture from coming in, but we do have, of course, the, the warmth coming out of it, though. We'll get that, too, as well. We've got this nice little circulation coming in. As we go deeper into Friday and the weekend, more of that humidity will get closer as that low will make its move on shore and all the way to Atlanta, then into Tennessee, and then eventually headed for St. Louis and then kind of stall right there. And eventually it will bring up a little bit of cloud cover for us. Not a lot of rainfall. We're not expecting anything here locally. Let's get into it right now. Sky Tracker showing what's happening right now. It's a 1 o'clock hour. You'll see as we go into the 4 o'clock hour, highs most Mostly lacrosse looking at about 80. We'll probably get about 81 degrees today. We'll see about maybe 81 or one or so over by Eau Claire and then 77 by Lady Smith. Down to the south, you're looking at basketball about 79 degrees, Prairie du Chien around 78. Now, that being said, once we get in the 6 o'clock hour, we're still very comfortable. It's very mild out there with temperatures widespread in the low to middle 70s. In fact, you're at your highs for the day. You can get up to about 75 all the way down to about, say, uh, about uh, 81 degrees, possibly, as we finish out the day for you. In fact, then we have the torchlight parade coming in. 5 o'clock, you're looking at 77 degrees, whole lot of sunshine, stargazing opportunity as the sun goes down through the 7 o'clock hour, 8 o'clock hour, with temperatures in the low 70s to the middle 60s to finish out the nighttime. So get out and enjoy that. Here's what's going to be happening over the next few days, though. We'll see this landfall coming in. You'll see that's probably around 8 o'clock or so. That's what it says tonight, but we've seen that, that mentioned before, but we'll see how it all plays out. Then Atlanta gets slammed for a whole lot of rainfall. We're talking about 20 inches of uh, storm surge potential. We could see maybe some some uh, rainfall up to near 18 inches in some cases getting back into Tennessee. You've got the rainfall coming in, pushing that rainfall all the way up to Cincinnati, but then it clutches down just a little bit trying to head towards Memphis, but it stalls out a bit as it goes right into Saturday and then possibly Sunday and it's done. We'll see some of that, uh, that cloud cover start to sneak into portions of the south of, uh, of Wisconsin. Other than that, not much is happening. 82 to 82 to 81 degrees. We're going to keep those low 80s to finish out the day and as we get into the next eight days. Away we go with a whole lot of sunshine on the way. You're looking at conditions to stay like that all the way into Monday. And then look at that temperature drop as we go from Monday into Tuesday. 67 degrees for your highs. Yikes, that means chilly morning temperatures. All right, a great forecast for Oktoberfest. Thank you, <laughs> Art. Mm -hmm. Coming up next, pinatas you won't want to break. An artist's stunning twist on a centuries-old tradition. We'll show you more coming up. I remember coming home from school and pounding on the door, but my mother wouldn't answer. She'd be passed out inside. You know, my mother had a drug abuse problem. She struggled with addiction to prescription pills her whole life. But today with fentanyl, one pill, just one pill can kill. 
So I've worked with Republicans to stop the flow of fentanyl that's poisoning families across Wisconsin. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. This fight hits close to home. Dutch Boy, it's only paint. It's only paint that comes in an award-winning twist and pour container. It's only paint that can cover the brightest shade of orange known to mankind in just one coat. It's only paint that will inspire you to write your masterpiece. It's only paint that will help you become TV's hottest writer, where one day you'll meet this guy who started that thing. So yeah, it's only paint. Only easy opening, smooth pouring, change your life both professionally and romantically. Dutch Boy Paint. Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners. Surgery. Um, for prisoners. Uh, for prisoners. Every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Even the liberal media was shocked Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners and illegal aliens. Every transgender inmate would have access. Kamala's for they, them. President Trump is for you. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Now's the time to get a great deal on taking care of your property. You need the number one selling subcompact tractor in the U.S. so you can do it all and do it right. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and Sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Right now, bring home select Kubota equipment for zero down, 0% zero APR for up to 60 months, plus save up to $1,200. Visit any of your Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. Tammy Baldwin on transparency. I don't think there should be two sets of rules, one for the wealthy and one for the rest of us. 12 years later, Baldwin pushed for conflict of interest regulations, but exempted herself. And Baldwin won't disclose any shared assets she has with her partner, despite the potential for conflict of interest. Tell Tammy Baldwin, we deserve the truth. Wisconsin Principles is responsible for the content of this advertising. Frenzy, Friday at 10 on News 8. Pinatas are a popular feature at children's birthday parties, but the real tradition involves objects much too precious to actually break. In this Los Angeles studio, Roberto Benavidez has spent nearly 15 years creating these works of art. They're pinatas based on a 14th century Aztec tradition as a way to honor their gods. Benavidez starts with paper mache and balloons, sculpting shapes covered with fringed and metallic papers. They are for keeping, not smashing. I really liked the idea of highlighting the Mexican cultural object in the fine art world. My goal was to push it out of the realm of only destruction to being preserved and actually admired and cared for in a long-term sense. Yeah, they are amazing. In the original tradition, the Aztecs would fill a small feather covered pot with treasures and hit it until the contents fell at the feet of a statue. Stay with us. We'll have one more check of your forecast when we come back. Knutson Roofing, locally owned with 20 years of experience to get your project done right the first time. Whether it's roofing, window, or siding installation, we offer reliable, dependable, and quality work we stand behind. Knutson Roofing, call or visit us online today. While families struggle to pay bills, Harris and the Democrats are wasting our tax dollars on their extreme liberal agenda. Giving government checks to illegal immigrants, Funding a Madison clinic where minors get transgender therapy without parents' consent. Pushing high schools to allow boys to compete in girls' sports. Senator Baldwin fights for this madness. Tammy Baldwin, radical, extreme, and wrong. I'm Eric Covdi, and I approve this message. If you want selection, then that's what we've got at King Furniture. More recliners. King Furniture has more Lazy Boy recliners than anywhere else in the Cooley region. Fabric, leather, even lift chairs. Try them all. Sit on this, sit on that. There's plenty here to choose from because it's all about choices, you know. And as always, free delivery. Just try that anywhere else. Hey. 
furniture. Nice people, nice furniture. Sometimes a celebration means fireworks and loud music. I'll just tell you that I'm celebrating 35 years at the board store, 80 years on the planet, and my daughter Danielle becoming the new general manager of the board store. Let what's personal to me be personal to you with savings on your next home improvement. Call for a prompt free estimate on windows and doors, on siding or gutters, on a bathroom or a kitchen, on a sunroom or deck. Better products. Better people. Better prices. The board store, improving your home, improving your life. Knutson Roofing, locally owned with 20 years of experience to get your project done right the first time. Whether it's roofing, window, or siding installation, we offer reliable, dependable, and quality work we stand behind. Knutson Roofing, call or visit us online today. One more quick look at the Torchlight forecast for you this evening. Outstanding look. It's going to be fantastic. Get out and have a wonderful time. It'll be nice and calm out there, light winds, and of course, more of that heat's going to continue as we finish out the work week going into a much cooler uh, atmosphere for next week. So that's how it all plays out for us. All right. Might need to wear your lightweight leader hose in this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you back here tonight. Thanks for joining us.